Mongrel has no natural talent, and not only would he agree with me, but by the end of this video, you will too. This is the story of Kyle Mongrel Jackson and his success. It all started on April 4th, 2018, a little after the release of Fortnite, BBC News interviewed Mongrel after he was just picked up by Team Secret. Little did he know that from this point on, his life would change forever. Now the important part isn't the fact that he's being interviewed by the world's largest and oldest news channel of all time, but it's what he said on stream a long time ago that really stands out. I don't care if all the money would go to charity or whatever, I just want to play. I don't care about money, it can go to charity or whatever, I just want to play. You hear successful people say things like this all the time, but it's one thing to say it, and another thing to actually mean it. Five days ago, on November 1st, 2020, Mongrel would turn on what would become his most successful stream of all time. After warming up for FNCS Grand Finals and turning on stream, Mongrel thought that this would just be another professional tournament, but he was very wrong. Little did he know that his stream would not only become his biggest stream of all time, blowing his previous record of 93,000 viewers out of the water, but it would also become one of the most viewed Fortnite streams ever. But his insane performance and insane viewer count was not the most impressive part of his stream. There was one thing that changed the way that you and I will think of Mongrel forever. After game number 4, because of his insane performance, he was sitting in first place with 61 points. But his score was nothing to brag about compared to his Twitch viewers. Mongrel had quickly accumulated over 120,000 concurrent viewers, and that number was only going up. He had thousands of donations and subscriptions coming in so fast that reading the names was actually impossible. He had so many viewers that rolling one 30 second ad would make him more money than getting first in the tournament he was playing in. Mongrel was literally living our dreams and easily making tens of thousands of dollars an hour. Numbers like that are almost impossible to comprehend. But something that nobody expected happened. Like anyone reaching this level of success, he was mind blown. Not only was he winning FNCS, but he was making tens of thousands of dollars. This is the moment that most people would sit back and realize they finally made it. They're living the dream. But this wasn't Mongrel's dream. When Mongrel says he wants nothing more than to win, he actually means it. And this was the moment he realized that his Twitch success was distracting him from achieving his dream to win. He still had more games to play, he needs to win. The thing about Mongrel is when he's passionate about something, he actually goes all in. Nothing has ever and nothing will ever stand in the way of what Mongrel wants to achieve. And because of this, he ended his Twitch stream of over 120,000 viewers, throwing away the opportunity of money that neither you, I, or even Mongrel could even imagine. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream, bro. We need to do good these last two games. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it, bro. Calling Mongrel talented is simply just insulting. It's assuming he was naturally born with his skills when none of us can understand the incredible amounts of work and sacrifices that he has made to get to where he is today. He has made sacrifices that nobody has made and sacrifices that nobody will ever make. And because of that, that is why he is number one. But this takes us back to where the story of Mongrel actually begins. After being signed at the young age of 13 years old by Team Secret, he was interviewed by BBC News. And it was in this interview where he said, I started playing competitively when I was around 9 or 10. I got into like Halo, uh, Call of Duty, games like that. And I just, I realized that I could probably like, go to a pro level if I keep playing at the level I am. If I continue to play at the level I'm playing at, I'll go pro. And boy, was he right. Throughout July and August 2018, he would compete in several solo and duo kill race tournaments with a player named Dementos. He would place 5th, 22nd, 10th, and 18th, but obviously that wasn't first, so it wasn't enough for Mongrel. 
It wasn't until the next tournament on September 2nd, 2018, where him and Dementos would for the first time ever get that sweet taste of victory. But this was just the beginning. On February 20th, 2019, Mongrel placed first place in the Cooler Cup, and just two weeks later, he won the next Share the Love tournament. It was safe to say that from this point on, he was addicted to winning. Soon after, Mongrel and Mitro decided to come together and duo competitively, and it was the right decision. Their first two tournaments together, they placed first in the Lux Cup and third in the World Cup warm-up. This is a feat to brag about. Mongrel would continue to slay tournaments throughout the World Cup qualifiers. Not only did Mongrel qualify for World Cup solos, but he qualified for the World Cup duos with Mitro as well. They placed 6th in duos, winning $450,000, and Mongrel placed 13th in solos, winning $150,000. Throughout the rest of 2019, and through 2020 up until now, Mongrel has accumulated earnings of over $635,000, and he's only 15. FaZe made a great decision to pick up Mongrel right before the World Cup, but what surprises me the most isn't the fact that Mongrel has gotten first place in 16 Fortnite tournaments so far, but it's actually the fact that I spend days making high quality videos for you to watch like this one for free. All I ask in return is for you to subscribe with notifications on and to use code EXALTED like these amazing people have. Now you might be asking, what does it take to become as good as someone like Mongrel? Well obviously it's going to take practice, a lot of practice. To become world class in any field, you need 10,000 hours of good practice. It's not practice makes perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. It's no joke that what Mongrel has accomplished is the product of perfect practice and an intense work ethic. According to Mongrel, he plays about 10 hours every single day, and 5 hours is professional scrims. And the remaining 5 hours he spends before and after scrims, warming up in creative, practicing and refining his mechanical skill and consistency. But when it comes to Mongrel's free time, he spends it VOD reviewing his gameplay and learning where he needs to improve. It's very infrequent that he said he'll be spending his free time watching movies with his buddies on Discord. The reason I respect Mongrel so much is because he's true to his word. If he says it, he actually does it. It's a rare quality to find, but the extent at which Mongrel takes this is further than anyone, and that is the reason why he is where he is right now today, and that is number one.